All right, I'm going to teach you how to open data from a data logger that you've saved onto a flash drive and put it into Excel so that you can manipulate it, save it into a graph, that kind of thing. Uh, so the instructions for this were written up in your conductivity lab, but in case you need a little refresher, here's how it works. So the first direction is to say open a new Excel document. So here you can see I'm in Excel. And then we're going to open our data. So we're gonna go File, Open. And this is where you're going to navigate to where your flash drive is. Lots of times um, it might be here underneath computer, but for me, I saved mine on the desktop. Now the most important thing is that this box right here says all files. Most of the time when you're first working with Excel, it'll have just all Excel files located in this pull down box, but you need to change it to all files. The data logger saves the file as a .txt, not as a .xls, so we need to change it to all files so that we can find it. And here uh, is where that data is. Yours might have a different name, but I'm just gonna double click on that. Now, a box open that's called the text import wizard. Honestly, most of the stuff that's going on in this box is not all that important. All you need to do here is click on next, and then in the next screen you click on next and then you say finish and that will open up your data here into Excel so you can see that we have three columns column A is just uh, the data point number that's not really all that important here we have a temperature column and here we have the conductivity data so from this you can make your graph now let's say that you make your graph and you want to save your Excel file just in case you want to open it later so what you do is you go File, Save As. Now this is the next really important thing that you have to do. You need to change this box here from .txt to the very top one, .xlsx, that saves it as an Excel workbook. Uh, it changes it from a text file to an Excel file. So then you click on there, and then you click Save, and now you have saved your file into Excel. I hope that helps. If you need anything else, let me know.